In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a complete Dolby Vision IMF package using DaVinci Resolve Studio. We start by creating a new Dolby Vision IMF mastering project to show the mastering process, starting from a finished Dolby Vision master file. However, you can also export a Dolby Vision IMF directly from any Dolby Vision grading timeline or project. Open the project settings. Select master settings and set the timeline resolution and frame rate to match the delivery specifications. Select the video output format to match your video monitoring setup and configuration. Select use 444 SDI and set the SDI configuration to match your setup and set the data levels to full. The video bit depth should be set to 10 or 12 bit. Next, select color management and set the color science to DaVinci YRGB. Check use separate color space and gamma. For the timeline color space select P3D65 or Rec 2020, depending on the color encoding of the Dolby Vision Master, and select ST2084 for the transfer function. Leave the output color space set to same as timeline. Enable Dolby Vision, select the Dolby Vision version, and the Dolby Vision Mastering display that was used to create the Dolby Vision Master. If you are unsure which version and mastering display was used, you can verify this from the Dolby Vision metadata. This can be done by using the Metafia tool from the Dolby Vision Professional Tools, or a text editor to inspect the XML. Here, the version is 4.0 and the mastering display used was 1000 nit P3 D65 ST2084. Click Save to apply the settings. Import the color-graded Dolby Vision Master file and your audio into the media pool and create a new timeline. Now insert your audio file, in this example a Dolby Atmos ADM broadcast wave file, and change the audio track type so that it matches the mix. Make sure that your audio tracks are the same length as the video track. Now, import the Dolby Vision Metadata XML file that was provided with the media. To do this, navigate to the color page in the Dolby Vision palette. Flick the Option button and select Import Metadata from XML. Navigate to the folder where the matching XML resides and select it. This imported metadata is now applied to the HDR video and used for content mapping. Resolve currently applies a single, global aspect ratio to all shots in the timeline, even if there are shots that have a different blanking value. This applies to version 18.1.2 that was used to create this video and may change in a future version. We recommend performing a preliminary quality control pass to check the audio playback and the mapping before rendering the IMF package. To do this, set the target display output to 100 nit, BT709, set the scopes to SDR, and perform a spot check on video and audio. Once done, navigate to the Deliver page. You can now either set all IMF parameters manually as per the delivery specifications, or simply use one of the presets provided. For this demonstration, we'll use the Netflix preset. Choose a file name that matches the naming conventions provided by the client and set the rendering location for the IMF. When checking the video render options, you will see that the IMF Netflix preset has already assigned the codec options according to Netflix specifications in the project settings. The preset type must be set to one of the Dolby Vision options. This will include the metadata inside the video track file within the IMF package. Make sure that the resolution of the Dolby Vision preset type and the frame rate matches those of the project. Now, set the composition settings as stated in the delivery specifications. We will change the content kind from the default advertising to EPS episode. Navigate to the audio tab and select output track 1 to timeline track, and ensure that export as Dolby Atmos IMFIAB is checked. Click edit metadata and select the right language code as well as the right content kind. In this example we will create an English language package and set the content type to primary. Once you have reviewed all your settings and everything looks good, you can add this render to the render queue. 
Other presets, such as the Disney one, do not include the Dolby Vision metadata in the video essence of the IMF package. At the time this video was recorded, this studio requires a standalone Sidecar XML for IMF packages in their delivery specifications. It is always recommended to do a full QC of the complete IMF package before delivery. As such, the topic of QC of Dolby Vision Masters and IMF will be covered in a separate video.